Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share a devotion entitled God's Hand on My Life. God's Hand on My Life. Matthew 16 26 says, What good would it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? You know, we need to we need the hand of God upon our lives. You can climb to the top of the corporate ladder, own homes on multiple countries or continents, and have a fat bank account even a king would be proud of. But without walking in communion and faithfulness with God, it is all for nothing. That was what Jesus said and told Peter, who rebuked Jesus for saying that he must die and he must suffer and die for the world. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the journey to achievement is more fulfilling than actually achieving it? One more time. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the journey to achievement is more fulfilling than actually achieving it? You see, we are all created with a void in our hearts, which continually strives after more. We can attempt to fill this world or this void but without, but without the Lord. We will always come up empty. The enemy works through division. If he can get your focus on what you can achieve, he knows he will continue to spin. One more time. He will continue to spin your views and have no eternal impact. Yet, when we invite God to cover our efforts with His blessing, why? Because God is the, different, the difference maker. He is the sustaining one, the fulfiller, the promoter, the comforter, the healer. And He is our ever-present help in times of need. John 15 verse 5 says, I am the one, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. He said, apart from me, you can do nothing. True life is found in the wine that is Jesus Christ. Staying connected to Jesus as a true wine is essential for our thriving, achieving, and prospering. But He doesn't come where He is not invited. Many a times we go through life, never invite Jesus to join us and walk with us and journey with us, in, especially in our difficult times. Whatever is in front of you this week, be conscious of inviting Jesus' presence in where you are and what you are doing and where you are going. Whether it is a boardroom, a corner office, a school, a college, a staircases or a car park or a lake garden, He will be faithful to meet you there if you are mindful of him one more time he will be faithful to meet you there in your time of need in your time of journey in your time of struggle if you are mindful of him to invite him in amen but then hang on why because when god gets involved what unfolds before us is exceedingly abundantly the bible say more than we could ever ask for or think of or imagine. Amen. Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 28 in the message Bible says this as I close. Then Jesus went to work on his disciples. Anyone who intends, he says, every anyone who intends to come to me with me has to let me lead. He said, you saw that in the message Bible. Anyone who comes to me uh, has to let me lead. You are not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I will show you how. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way. My, life, my way to finding yourself, your true self. What kind of deal is it to get everything, everything you want but lose yourself? What could you ever trade your soul for? 
The message Bible says, say, don't be in such a hurry to go into business for yourself because before you know it, the Son of Man will arrive with all the splendor of His Father, accompanied by an army of angels. And you will get everything you have coming to you, a personal gift. This isn't pie in the sky by and by. Some of you standing here are going to see it take place. See the Son of Man in His king, in kingdom glory. You know, it says, he said, as you learn to trust God and commit your life to God in whatever you face, whatever you go through, whatever you're working on, whatever your business, whatever your career may be, you know what? Or your education. You know what? If He is in it, you will be blessed when you ask Him to lead you, guide you, and empower you with the wisdom and the ability to excel. Amen? Remember, invite God into your life in all things. God bless you. Bless your people, love, with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all and have a great day.